good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. And I'm Kai. And we're today, doing honorable We're looking mentions. at the Scholastic Art Awards. Uh, we're going to start off with the honorable mentions, and then after news, we're going to do the Silver Key Awards. Uh, First honorable mention is Amber Cardarelli for drawing and illustration. Uh, we got Connor Jacobs for photography. Emma Jaquin also for drawing and illustration. Uh, we got Lilia Penna for architecture and industrial design. Uh, Jasmine Teo for painting. Uh, and Samantha Wagle for drawing and illustration. I'm sorry if we pronounce any of those wrong. Now we're going to be talking about the Silver Key Awards. Uh, first off, we got Kaylee Clark for architecture and industrial design. Uh, Connor Jacobs for photography. Uh, we got Emma Jaquin for drawing and illustration. Hannah Kiwanis for drawing and illustration. Uh, we got Corey Lesko for uh, drawing and illustration. Kylie Mapstone for drawing and illustration. Uh, let's see, we got Carly Sloan for digital art. Uh, Samantha Wagle for drawing and illustration. And we have Ava Zelens with two awards for drawing and illustration. We have some very talented drawers and illustrationers. And architectural designers. Time for weather with Bennett. Syracuse schools are working on the details of a plan that will bring more of the district's 20,000 kids into the classroom for more days, said Superintendent Jamie Alicia. We will continue to work on the logistics of offering more in-person instructional days for our students based on this new guidance and the feedback from our families and our staff, Alicia said. Bringing students back in person on more days will take some time as we need to look at the data collected from the surveys, develop a plan for transportation, develop academic schedules, and more. This afternoon, County Executive Ryan McMahon announced that districts would be allowed to reduce social distancing in classrooms from six feet to three feet. They will also be allowed to reduce the spacing on buses, possibly putting two kids in each seat. All desks will have to have clear plastic barriers like sneeze guards in order to reduce the distance. Syracuse currently has 12,000 ready to be distributed. McMahon said the county would buy the sneeze guards for any district that wanted them to remove any potential barriers to reopening. The Syracuse Teachers Association, which represents more than 3,000 teachers and other staff, has not yet responded to the county's announcement. Previously, it had been critical of the notion of reducing the physical distancing. The city school district has already begun surveying parents, telling them kids in grades pre-K to 8 could get four or five days in the classroom. SpaceX's futuristic Starship looked like it aced a touchdown Wednesday, but then exploded on the landing pad with so much force it was hurled into the air. The failure occurred just minutes after SpaceX declared success. Two previous test flights crash-landed in fireballs. The full-scale prototype of Elon Musk's envisioned Mars ship soared more than six miles after lifting off the southern tip of Texas on Wednesday. It descended horizontally over the Gulf of Mexico and then flipped upright just in time to land. The shiny bullet-shaped rocket ship remained intact this time at touchdown, prompting SpaceX commentator John Innsbrucker to declare third time's a charm, as the saying goes, before SpaceX ended its webcast of the test. But then the Starship exploded and was tossed into the air before slamming down into the ground in flames. There was no immediate comment from SpaceX on what went wrong, but Musk looked on the bright side in the tweet. Starship 10 landed in one piece. RIP SN10, honorable discharge. He added, SpaceX team is doing great work. One day, the true measure of success will be that Starship flights are commonplace. Musk plans to use Starships to send people to the moon and Mars. The last two prototypes reached a similarly high altitude in December and February, but slammed into the ground at Boca Chica, Texas. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, ESM. Today we'll have a high of 38. Moving on over the weekend, it looks to be highs in the 49s with snow and rain. If we move on to the rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday look to be in the high 40s with Tuesday getting a little cooler. Wednesday and Thursday look to have a mix of sun and rain. And I'm Emily with your weather. There's a new course in the art department called Digital Rendering. The course is in its first year and students will learn to utilize a number of digital programs and techniques to create digital artwork from drawing and painting to 3D sculpture and animation. 
Recently, students had the opportunity to create artwork for skateboards. Their designs were then printed on vinyl and applied to the boards. Each student was able to keep the board that they created. Serious art students should start considering taking digital rendering, and they can speak to their counselor, speak with Mr. Sincata in the art department, or email msincata at esmschools.org. The Syracuse women's basketball team beat Boston College 67-61 in the first round of the, in the ACC tournament. Sorry, They play Florida State tonight at 2.30. And I'm John Williams Sports. Okay, so uh, the Scholastic Art Competition this year was uh, very different from any other year. Um, obviously, everyone's struggling to produce, so we had lower numbers of, of entries across the board in the CNY region. but. The, the biggest difference was the fact that we could not physically be present in a building uh, in order to judge the work. So typically teachers from all over central New York um, show up to uh, Onondaga Community College to judge the show um, or facilitate the, the judging of the show. And this year we had to do all of the judging of artwork remotely. So everyone got together, teachers, judges, and facilitators um, over Zoom, and so everyone was looking through screens uh, to be able to, to judge the show. So that and the, the award ceremony is going to be a remote uh, award ceremony. So it'll, it'll basically be a slideshow with names being read off and awards being given uh, through a presentation rather than a ceremony.